absolutely fear the day. I pray it never comes that I hear. Beep, 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 beep. And this thing flames out on me. Hey guys, how's this going? We got a treat today. We also got the whole crew out yeah! here. <laughs> this is all the independent staff. But today, this is the helicopter we're flying. This is a Bell 206 L3. The main difference between this helicopter and something like those smaller helicopters, just besides the size, is that this is a turbine helicopter. And I'll show you around the inside real quick. So it has a center cyclic, all of our gauges in there. I've got the camera set up. I've got our wheels and there's about five seats back here uh, four seats back here and you can see the blades are teetering a little bit right now that's just because we're about to take off so we don't have them tied down we've got transmission oil pressure we're waiting for temperature to come up we're in the green pressure temperature starting to come up fuel pressure is good we got nothing on the generator because we're not up to that point yet sitting at 63 percent right where she should be another 30 seconds we're going to roll it up to 70 percent and one and then we're going to start the generator going. Yeah, that radar altimeter is nice. Does it just project and tell you your exact altitude above the ground? Yeah. Pretty accurate. When it's not interfered with by 5G. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> this is Matt. Matt is my boss. Uh, we use this 206 for multiple different operations like charter operations, power lines. Usually it's in Saratoga, but right now it's at our Stewart location. And what we're doing is we're going to fly up to Schenectady. Uh, this 206 has some maintenance that needs to be done, so we're going to fly it up there and do that. Hey, we're bringing N1 up to 70%. All right, 70% N1, generator's coming on. Morning light went off. Got a positive load on the generator, and that's going to decrease as she charges. Preliminary hydraulic, so we're going to turn the switch off and then back on that little hop. Yep. We're just going to do that. 3-4, hold short of 2-7, then uh, just use caution, there's no hold short signs. Left on 3-4, hold short of 2-7, Delta do it. Lights remain off. Gauges are looking good. We got temperature and pressure on the engine oil, temperature and pressure on the transmission. We'll wait for that transmission to just come up a little bit higher. 550 pounds of fuel. Holy circuit breakers are in. What's the fuel burn rate? Uh, we're right around 38 gallons per hour, depending on how much torque we're pulling. Gotcha. So, all right, we're gonna take it up to 100%. Okay, here we go, come up to 100%. Can't exceed 40% torque during a run-up, so you just kind of take it nice and easy. So you see it's marked down here for full throttle. Gotcha. And so what he's doing right now is he's just slowly twisting the throttle to the left, uh, kind of like a motorcycle twist grip throttle. So I can just feel him in my left hand slowly rolling on. Okay, we are wide open, full throttle. Warning lights remain off, test fine. Temperature and pressure good, temperature and pressure good. TOT is nice. We're sitting just below 80% N1, 550 pounds of fuel still with pressure. Good afternoon, Stewart Tower helicopter 22 Zulu Alpha has information Alpha. Independent ramp, looking for a northbound departure. Helicopter 22 Zulu Alpha, departure from independent beyond risk, northbound departure approved, no traffic. Northbound approved, no traffic, 22 Zulu Alpha, thank you, sir. All right, pulse lights are on, clear on the left. Left side is clear. Okay, we're clear on my side. We're gonna raise collective here. And I am not on your controls. Yeah, you can follow me on the controls. I'll follow you on the controls. It's not gonna take much on a cold day like this. Pick the nose up. There it is. We'll get her balanced. Is that 750 golf kilo Okay, 85% torque. 75 golf kilo across the approach end of 16, back to the uh, once we're above 84% torque, or 85% torque, our VNE is 84 knots. But we're not going to be there for very long. We didn't need power to get out of there. And is there a torque limitation you can pull? Yeah, 100%. Okay. There is a transient, but I don't want to mess with that. Roger. And there's no need to. So once we come through 40 knots, the nose will pitch up a little bit. You see that? No, that was zero five seven. Let's say again for Zoo Alpha. Zulu Alpha Altimeter 3057. Thank you, sir. 3057, two Zulu Alpha. All right, sir, your controls. My controls. Potential aircraft information, Bravo. Uh, I am off. Two I've got it. 3057. Got it. Runway clear, right, runway clear, left. We got one taxiing on the ground. 223 Delta Charlie, oh, free change sir. crew, if you didn't switch right in. All right, so between 40 and 50 knots, that nose pitch is when the horizontal stabilizer starts to do its thing. Don't directly overfly him. Roger. I'll come left. 
And so you just need a little extra forward cyclic to level it out. Now, so we're cruising at 80% torque right now. Is there a normal cruise torque? Yeah, once we get up to altitude, we'll probably be between uh, 60 and 70% at 100 knots. Gotcha. Somewhere in there. Now, Matt, so with uh, this 206... That's the heat. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Bleed air heat. Makes a lot of noise. Makes it sound like we're leaking. So, with this 206, what was the hardest challenge for you to learn? It's a new set of limitations. There's an unbelievable amount of power here compared to a Robinson helicopter. The emergency procedures are actually very similar, but there are some differences in the language and the POH, so the weight of the helicopter makes a huge difference, um, and the way this helicopter picks up its attitude is a lot different. And, you know, we're flying Robinsons for thousands of hours, and you're used to a certain height and sight picture, and then you get into one of these with its tall landing gear, and all of a sudden you don't know where the ground is. Hey, thank you guys for watching. For the rest of the video, I'm gonna speed it up and add some music, and I'll add a couple clips of me and Matt talking. Be sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys on the next one. or even thousands of hours it's just an extension of you it's like a fork you know how to manipulate a fork to do exactly what you need it to do in any case yeah. one thing that I like about this is the armrest <laughs> so I'm still holding the collective, but it's one thing I wish uh, the Robinsons had.
I love uh, the foot windows. Is early Yankee up at it is pretty cool. Yeah. It's, uh, those are a favorite of the uh, power line personnel we fly with. Yeah. Matt, can I show you one of my 60 degree bank turns? No, please. Please don't. <laughs> So if you guys are looking to do training, independent helicopters, um, one of the largest schools in the Northeast. We've got two locations, one in uh, Stewart International Airport. And is it Newburgh or New Windsor? New Windsor. New Windsor, New York. New Windsor. That one's a little bit closer down to New York City. And then we've got our Saratoga Springs location, which is more upstate, um, near the Albany area. And what kind of work do we do? Wow, up in, up north, you mean? Uh, just in general, uh, independent. Wow, we do everything but pick things up with the helicopter. We That's a great one. Truck. We do photography. We've done filming. We've done documentaries. We've done movies. We do tours. Um, we do charter work. We have a Part 135, so one-way operations we can do. Um, we do everything but pick things up with the helicopter. And it looks like it might be fun to try, but... I'm not looking to pick anything up with my helicopter. During my training, we did uh, a little bit of long line. And so what long line is, is you attach a long rope cable to the bottom of the helicopter, and you pick things up with that. It's, it's used a lot, and I mean, you can imagine the example of like an air conditioning unit that needs to be uh, picked up to the top of a high rise instead of carrying it up the building. You have a helicopter drop it off. It's a hazardous flight condition, um, and it does take a lot of work. But yeah, so we do, we do everything. My primary job at Independent Helicopters is as a flight instructor, so I do a lot of flight instruction. Uh, I also do a fair amount of tours. Um, we do a lot of fall tours, so the fall colors, and that's great. Uh, also photo flights. Um, in this stage in my career, so graduating flight school, the typical progression is uh, get all your ratings, whether that be just your commercial, your CFI, or maybe your CFII, which is Certified Flight Instructor Instrument, so you can teach how to fly the instruments. Uh, but the typical progression is once you get all your ratings and you're done with school, you can either become a tour pilot or a flight, instruction, a flight instructor. The reason I recommend being a flight instructor to almost everyone is you get great experience. So you have students that do, not intentionally, but they'll put the helicopter in a compromised position, and you have to figure it out. And you get to teach, so you really understand the helicopter.
fear the day. I pray it never comes that I hear. Beep, 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 beep. And this thing flames out on me. Yeah. Guys have stuck around this long our uh, front camera just died so that one might die as well but thank you guys for joining us on this flight we'll see how far we get matt do you have any uh, last words i uh, guess that's a bad way to say it you're doing a great job well thank you sir what a great first flight for you i appreciate it thank you uh for the opportunity like i said you guys can go chop uh check out the the podcast called chopper talk the link will be in the description matt's going to be on it in a couple we'll weeks well make a short approach only to wait quickly after Short approach, two acre VF, zero for row. Hey, thank you for sticking around this long. So my front camera died, and then the camera you're looking at right now died just shortly after. But this was a great first turbine flight for me. I really enjoyed it. It was a really cool opportunity. And thank you guys for uh, sticking along as we went through it. Uh, go ahead and subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. I will see you guys on the next one. And go check out the Chopper Talk podcast.